let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Humility leads to exaltation. Everlasting God delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth. Leader Olumba, Olumba, a Buddha supernatural teacher. First lesson, Matthew chapter 23, verse 12. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Second lesson, James chapter 4, verse 10. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Golden text, Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 to 4. Let nothing be done through strife and vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Introductory Spiritual Chorus To be my disciple, be humble. To be my disciple, be humble. To be my disciple, be humble. As an infant, quote, let the first lesson be re-examined. First lesson, Matthew chapter 23 verse 12. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Brethren, the above text and chorus explain what obtains in this kingdom of God. In the mundane world, except one is a murderer, a disrespectful, rich, powerful, deceitful, and cunning, he cannot speak, associate, or be reckoned with. The world strives on cheating and evil, but the kingdom of God is founded on and consists in the contents of the three texts and the chorus. Those who hitherto had exalted themselves have been debased. However rich you may be, if you do not humble yourself, your wealth will be taken away from you. The same fate shall befall the so-called powerful, beautiful and very important personalities of this world who refuse to humble themselves like infants. Those who arrogate to themselves the ability of abiding in the sky, those who are dressed in flowing and flamboyant gowns and are acclaimed as renowned fellows, shall all be brought low if they do not humble themselves this lesson, therefore, is for our good, that we should be humble, be loving, merciful, be kind, be compassionate, and be of services and willing to serve others in order to fortify or secure our positions. The worldly knowledge, power, riches, beauty, and fluency in language will not help you. It is only when you humble yourself to the lowest level that you will be saved. If you visit the home of the toad and there you find the father and mother toads 
squatting, what will you do? It is only reasonable that you squat along with them. Read the first lesson again. First lesson, Matthew chapter 23 verse 12. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Brethren, the entry qualification into the kingdom of God is humility. Imbibe humility and teach others who desire admission into this kingdom of God. Spiritual chorus. It would not be long. It would not be long. The pride of the world will pass away. Let the second lesson be re-examined. Second lesson, James chapter 4 verse 10. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Brethren, the lesson clearly states that those who will inherit the kingdom of God, he is the only ruler in his kingdom. He will exalt all who humble themselves and serve him diligently and with one mind. All who exalt and ascribe to themselves the ability to do one thing or the other, who take pride in the chains of degrees they have, who claim that they are kings or emperors, they are princesses and prince shall be abased. Spiritual quarrels. Humble yourself before the Lord. I say humble yourself before the Lord. Count others better than yourself. Christ was humble, brethren. Who has not observed the humility of our Lord Jesus Christ? Who owns and heads this kingdom? Have you not seen his love, his mercy, and the tribulation he had passed through? All who aspire to follow him have the same course to undergo. Anyone who does not humble himself has no life. The position the Lord occupies is not given him through his knowledge or his power or, or his wealth, but because of humility. All who therefore intend to abide with him and have this glory with him, have to emulate and resemble him. However intelligent a man may be, however wise and powerful as a lion he may be, whether he be blessed with scores of children as beautiful as mermaid, cunning as the serpent, none of these will afford you admission into the kingdom of God. The only passport into the kingdom of God is humility. The spiritual chorus in Biakpan language, namely, Oven, Kod, Ki en Mosai, Sasu, Urem, Misan. This clearly states that only the humble and those who seek the interest of others shall inherit the kingdom of God. But the reverse is the case here. 
as your aspiration is diverse and selfish? Many want to be the chairman or the treasurer and so on, while others are busy criticizing their breadwin here and there. That is clear exhibition of foolishness. And all those who behave in that manner have scored zero. In this kingdom, no person has the determinant power, the final word, or has the clearest sight of our vision than others. God is the only source through which every other thing originates. He does his things correctly and equitably. No complaint or appeal is admissible here. No class or race or whatever distinction is obtainable here. Now and again I have told you this, but you are frequently causing yourself you are frequently casting yourselves into fire every day. Disseminate this gospel to every person and be constantly reminded of it. Let the golden text be re-examined. Golden text, Philippians chapter 2 verses 3 to 4. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Brethren, the above passage forms proceedings in the kingdom of God no person should expect any place in this kingdom without having the aforementioned qualities. Do nothing out of rivalry or arrogance or impiety or whatever manner. Do not come here to tempt. Anyone who functions in any of these ways shall go away empty-handed. The Father is the way and the one responsible for everything. This kingdom is inadmissible of noise of pomposity and of competition. Do not be proud or of selfish ambition. At all times, be contented in whatever position God has kept you. Always seek for the good of others. Serve others more than yourself. The Lord did not scramble or struggle for anything. He was neither pompous nor was he ambitious to lead others. Rather, he humbled himself always and saw others as better than himself. He was a true servant and placed himself under that servitude. It is for these reasons that God exalted him to the position he is today. It is therefore God's prerogative to give whoever merits exalted position. Brethren, a stroke of the cane is sufficient unto the wise. Let those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.